Hey my friends, welcome back to Making Clouds with Mudflap. Hopefully you guys are here to make some clouds with me. I'm going to do some dabbing tonight. I'm going to get back on the rosin. No real reason. I have a gram of shatters, but it's still in the fridge and I haven't dug it out yet. I was going to dig it out today, but I got to uh, have the rosin out. She's still looking fine and sweet. Haven't been plowing through it, but enjoying it nonetheless. Do a nice little rip here, and then we're going to get into our nice conversation for tonight. Back on my bitching about the LPs. I put a little bit more water in it. Man, does that make a difference. You don't have to uh, haul on it quite as hard to make it work. Mm, very nice. <coughs> so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was uh, the little subject I brought up yesterday about the Canopy Growth Corp and their um, big sales. They uh, almost tripled their revenue in the last quarter, I believe it was. Um, they had a 180% increase in revenue, and that's a barometer of a successful quarter for most companies. But no, no. No, no. It managed to disappoint their analysts. That's right. They turned a profit for the first time in their short history, booking $3 million um, in net income for that year, compared to the net loss of $3.3 million in the prior year. So that's a pretty big, uh, significant increase from year over year. I said that inventory at the end of December was valued at around $50 million, but the company was running low on their uh, higher THC to mid-THC levels and oils. When I'm assuming they're talking about oils, they're talking about like the drops and um, uh, all of grapeseed oils that they sell, which I'm... I'm hoping that people with lower tolerances works for them. I really do. I, I can see it if an elderly person... Um, hasn't used cannabis before how that might help them but it's not going to saturate their system if they've got something really that needing the to be alleviated we're going to alleviate right now Oh yeah, let that dabber cool down for a second. <coughs> oh, enjoying a nice little coffee this evening. Getting the old uh, teeth worked on tomorrow. I think I got a cavity somewhere in there. Or two. One's been bothering me, so I have an appointment. I'll have them look at it. And getting the old haircut tomorrow, too. I don't know why I threw that in the middle of all this, but I did. It's been a snowy wet. Or a snowy cold day here. We got a little bit of snow and I actually got the shovel. So, like I said, I don't want to throw that in the middle there. Just keeping you up to date with what's going on here. Anyways, they stated if they had more product in their supply that uh, their numbers would have obviously been bigger. So, they're uh, a big company. Um, they're on the stock market. I think their uh, ticker on the stock, Toronto Stock Exchange, is weed. Um, and they're the main company that owns Tweet uh, and uh, various other ones, which I can't name off the top of my head. Uh, there's a four or five companies that they, uh, LPs that they own, if not more at this point. Um, they just bought Metrum and um, they'll probably expect even bigger sales with Metrum under their umbrella. And they, cause I think they paid like $450 million for them or something like that. And they have six or eight strains too. So more money more money um they also stated that there are more people becoming patients now than there was when they started at the end of 2015 they had 8,000 patients this uh, company now at the end of 2016 in december they had 26,000 so that's like a or sorry 29,000 that's a 260 percent increase so that's probably why they're disappointed. They've seen a 260% increase in patients 
what they call patients, customers, and only 180% in revenue. Come on. Now, the, um, they say that's the their major shortfall is the inventory, but if you look at their numbers, um, obviously they want they feel that if they had more inventory, they'd have more sales. But um, their numbers are I'll get to them here. Um, they're say, stating here that they restocked the shelves on February first, and this is what I stated uh, yesterday that they actually recorded that day their first day of over one million dollars in sales in one day. So. It's a pretty big day and a significant amount of cannabis moved, you can imagine. Um, a noted positive surprise regarding cost of sales, both revenue per gram and cost per gram, was better than expected. And this is for the shareholders that it's better than expected, not for you and not for me. Okay? I'll give you those numbers in a second. It surprised me. Especially because once you see the numbers and hear the numbers, you know it's profits over patients. Totally. Works much better with more water in there. different dry in the back of my throat from dabs and anything else but regardless that's part of dabbing tickly nose anyways uh they said that their average sell price was uh 736 a gram so i'm not sure how that is when their stuff is way more expensive than that but maybe they're averaging it out with their cheap milled brands and things like that but they were only projecting $7.10 a gram. So they actually got $0.26 cents a gram more than they were expecting over that period. Now, this is the part that really blew my mind. Not really blew my mind. I kind of expected it, but I'm kind of... It's nice to see. The cost per gram for them to produce it was $2.47 a gram. All right. I can kind of see that just with all the regulations and things they have to do with their cannabis. Uh, they forecast it at two seventy-five a gram, so that's uh, twenty-eight cents a gram. So of, between that, what more they got, and like that's a pretty significant jump in in revenue. Um, and it goes all in their pocket that because uh, from what was projected and what they got and what it actually cost them to produce it, you'd think that maybe next year the prices might be a bit better because they're producing it out of better and they're going to expand by 50% take over that whole Hershey factory in Smith Falls and produce even more plus have Metro under their under their umbrella and I just spent $93 for freaking 10 grams yeah take care of the sick train's coming I'm coughing we've said our piece thanks for hanging out with me my friends I really do appreciate you coming spending your time with me it is a Friday night so hopefully you're gonna have a fantastic weekend we're supposed to get some half decent weather here I'm gonna get outside with my doggies and get dirty I guess but please come back tomorrow anyways my friends I really do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me these nights especially on Friday night we got better things to do but uh, hey, it's nice to share a bowl and a cloud with you. Come on back tomorrow. We'll be here. Same time, same channel.